Heavenly Father, we've come to declare you are God. You are faithful like no other. You are King of kings and the Lord of lords. And we worship you and we exalt your name and we honor you and we love you, Lord. We exalt you this morning. Great are you, Lord. You are greatly to be praised. Besides you, there is no other God. We stand in awe of you, mighty one of Israel. We worship you. We honor you. The great I am that I am. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you. Blessed be the name of the Lord from everlasting to everlasting. Blessed be the King of Kings. Blessed be the one who is great and mighty, who is worthy to be praised. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Jesus. This morning, oh God, we receive your mercy. We receive your grace in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, I am reading the Passion Translation. It says, and his fullness fills you. Even though you were once like corpses, dead in your sins and offenses, it wasn't that long ago that you lived in the religion, in the customs and the values of this world, obeying the dark ruler of the ethereal realm who fills the atmosphere with his authority and works diligently in the hearts of those who are disobedient to the truth of God. It says the corruption that was in us from birth was expressed through the deeds and desires of our self-life where we were doing whatever we wanted. We lived by whatever natural cravings and thoughts our minds dictated, living as rebellious children, subject to God's wrath like everyone else. But God still loved us with such great love. He is so rich in compassion and mercy. Even when we were dead and doomed in our many sins, he united us into the very life of Christ and saved us by his wonderful grace. Verse six, he raised us up with Christ, the exalted one, the Messiah. And we ascended with Christ into the glorious perfection and authority of the heavenly realm. For we are now co-seated as one with Christ. Let's thank God this morning that father, we thank you that your fullness fills us. That Lord, we have been raised up with Christ, the exalted one. We have ascended with Jesus into the glorious perfection and the authority of the heavenly realm. We are co-seated with Christ. We are joint heirs with Christ. We are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We have been washed from our sins. We have been cleansed from every transgression, every sin, every iniquity by reason of the blood of Jesus. And we are now seated in heavenly places above all principality and power and every name that is named both in this world and the world that is to come. We thank you King Jesus. We exalt your name. We magnify your name. Thank you for the privilege of joint sitting with Jesus our Messiah. Thank you that we are seated with him. We are with him. We are joint heirs. We are heirs of the Father. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God. We worship you Lord. We thank you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. When we look at that Ephesians 2 verse 6 again in the Passion Translation, the Bible says we ascended with Christ into the glorious perfection and authority of the heavenly realm. In the heavenly realm where God dwells, there is glorious perfection. There are no, oh, you know what? This is my weakness. Oh, you know what? This is not a strong point. There is glorious perfection in the heavenly realm. And the Bible says there is authority for whatsoever things we bind when we are in the heavenly realm, they remain bound. Whatsoever things we lose, they remain loosed. When God says a thing, that is what it is because there is authority in the heavenly realm. Bible says he raised us up with Christ, the exalted one, and we ascended with Christ into the glorious perfection and authority of the heavenly realm. For we are now co-seated as one with Christ this morning. Let's begin to declare it and exercise it. Lord, I thank you. In Christ Jesus, I have glorious perfection and I have authority of the heavenly realm so that what I bind on earth, it is bound in heaven. What I loose on earth, it is loosed in heaven because I am seated in the heavenly places. When I speak, my voice is not just heard on earth, but it's heard in the heavenly realms because I'm seated in the heavenly realms where there is glorious perfection and there's the authority of the heavenly realm. So this morning, we come in the authority of Jesus. We come in the authority 
authority of the almighty God. We come in the authority that is the name above all names. And as we speak, there is authority. There is glorious perfection. The glory of God is upon us. The glory of God anoints our prayers. The glory of God anoints our worship. The glory of God stands all around us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, almighty God. We worship you. We glorify your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Brethren, there is a song I want us to take and there's a prayer point I want us to take. It's based on a, on a dream that I saw. Um, I woke up from this dream about 3 a.m. in the morning. And the gist of the dream is this. I want us to pray for everyone on this prayer line and all the families we represent. And we are going to ask the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, God who is rich in compassion and mercy. God who loved us has raised us up with Christ Jesus and saved us by his wonderful grace. And, 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 and we have ascended to glorious perfection. We are not who we used to be. So I want us to pray that concerning the families we come from, the, the, the households that we represent, the bloodlines that we represent, whatever in these families allows this, um, demonic powers to function whatever allows them to work you know in this dream i saw this house and in this house there was a demonic enforcer you know like a, a satanic um assigned demonic power that was assigned to enforce against them you know that the, the covenants of that family and this demonic enforcer they act like police they come and arrest the person as soon as the person tries to come out of the limitation they are arrested in that dream i saw this um i can't just describe them you know if you've seen this um um, fish, this catfish that people eat. Imagine that wasn't a fish, like it was a snake with flat heads. And the snake has two heads. It has heads on both sides. And I saw these snakes in this family. They couldn't be chased out. These satanic enforcers were carrying them, bringing them back into the house. And as people try to remove them, they bring them back. They put them back in. I want us to plead the blood of Jesus and ask God that every evil covenant that would permit Satan and his agents to keep reinforcing evil covenants and keep bringing in evil, uh, evil covenants and evil things that work against the deliverance of God's children that the blood of Jesus would break it and the Bible says God has loved us in Ephesians 2 that he loved us with a great love with his compassion and mercy let whatever evil covenants be broken and let the satanic enforcers be bound and arrested by the angels of God and the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus I want us to lift up our voices and begin to pray and begin to name name the names of your family surnames and whatever else as I play this song as I, in that dream as I was praying in that dream I began to hear this song and you 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 and I might not speak this language, but the translation is on the screen. Let's play this song and let us pray concerning our families in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we are praying for every bloodline, every family represented here, oh God, every household that is being bound by satanic covenants, satanic agreements, satanic agendas. We are pleading the blood of Jesus and asking, oh God, let the blood, let it bring deliverance for you. You are the king of the universe. You are the ancient of days. I kept hearing that word. I kept hearing it. Eledumare, Arubo Ojo. I kept hearing it. Lord, you are the king of the universe. You are the ancient of days. Let the power of God break every evil covenant that is working against the children of God. Let the evil covenants be broken. Let the evil agendas be broken. Whatever keeps bringing back evil powers into the households of the children of God. Let the power of God God, break it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, on behalf of our family lines, everybody represented on this prayer line, Lord, we reject and we renounce evil covenants. We reject and renounce evil decrees, evil declarations, ordinances of wickedness, ordinances of darkness. We reject and refuse them in the name of Jesus. And we are pleading the blood. God who loved us with such a great love, who is rich in compassion and mercy, lift us up, O oh God. 
from every limitation in the mighty name of Jesus. We locate, oh God, every satanic enforcer. We locate every satanic enforcer and we come against them by the power of God. I locate every demonic enforcer, every power of darkness assigned to enforce evil agendas, assigned to enforce evil decrees, assigned to enforce evil agendas. We locate you by the power of God and we arrest you. We arrest you in the mighty name of Jesus. We arrest you right now. Father, we judge every spirit of the snake, every spirit of from the marine realm, every water snake. We judge them by the fire of God. Every water snake, we locate you by the finger of God and we judge you by the fire of God in the name of Jesus. Catch fire. Catch fire wherever you are. Catch fire. We come against you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for you are greater than every power. You are greater than any demon. You are greater than any satanic enforcer. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maleke sekete leba korabasaya. Ma zokotorabasaya. Jevragado so pregete leba siya. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, sweep across this prayer line and touch every family. Touch every home. Raduske balegadasiya. Ma rokokoko balegadasiya. Rembolo godo so kondolo bababababo. Ma sekete leba ragadasiya. In bragado so kondolo borababashaya. Regado suvandia handa. In the name of Jesus. Lord, in Jesus' name. Expose and destroy every water snake, oh God. Let your fire destroy them in the name of Jesus. Destroy them from every family line represented on this prayer altar in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to go to Ephesians chapter 1. And again, I'm going to read it in the Passion Translation um, from verse 19. Ephesians 1 from verse 19. Ephesians 1 from verse 19. Bible says, I pray. That you will continually experience the immeasurable greatness of God's power made available to you through faith. So this morning, I want us to settle in our hearts that there is a power that is immeasurably great. In other words, it's off the scale. This power cannot be measured. This power cannot be described. This power cannot be contained. It's an immeasurable great power. And it says it's made available to you through faith. If you will kill your faith in this morning, you will experience this power. The power can only be accessed through faith. And once you release your faith, it is immeasurably great. In other words, you are completely victorious as you use your faith this morning. It says here in Ephesians 1.19 of the Passion Translation, then your lives will be an advertisement of this immense power as it works through you. As you step out of your house, your life becomes an advertisement that there is a power that is a work inside of you that is immense. The kingdom of darkness, the witches, the wizard, the marine realm, they begin to know, they know that they know God works when they see you. That's what the Bible is saying. It says, this is the mighty power that was released when God raised Christ from the dead and exalted him to the place of highest honor and supreme authority in the heavenly realm. And now he is exalted as first above every ruler, authority, government, and realm of power in existence. Wherever there is a realm of power, a witchcraft coven, a gathering of warlocks, a gathering of sorcerers, illuminati, whatever it is, it says Jesus is first above them all. Any realm of power, Jesus is first above them. He is gloriously enthroned over every name. That is ever praised, not only in this age, but in the age to come. So this morning, let's use this scripture to pray over our lives and decree and declare that this morning, the Bible says you, you will continually experience the immeasurable greatness of God's power. In other words, it's not just when we are on the 6 a.m. prayer line. It says continually in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, day in, day out, all of 2023. I want us to pray this prayer. Turn that Ephesians into your prayer and say in this year, 2023. 
I will continually experience. I am a continually experiencing the immeasurable greatness of God's power that is made available to me through faith. I key in my faith this morning and my life becomes an advertisement of the immense power of God that is at work in me. This is the resurrection power. This is the power that was released when God raised Christ from the dead and exalted him to the place of highest honor and supreme authority in the heavenly realm. Now Jesus is exalted. He is first above every ruler, every authority, every government, every realm of power in existence. Father, wherever there are realms of power that are working against us, your children, wherever there are realms of power that are militating against our families, against our children, against our children's children, we declare the word of God over that realm of power and we say Jesus is preeminent there. Jesus is above you. Therefore, lose your hold over the children of God. Lose your hold uh, over my husband, over my children, over my children's children in the name of Jesus. Uh I lift up the name of Jesus. I lift up the word of God this morning. Brethren, where there are realms of power, there are some satanic churches that some people have been using to pray against you. We lift up the name of Jesus over that satanic realm. There are some demonic gatherings, the church of Satan, where they have gathered against the church of God and they are releasing curses. They are releasing evil. Father, we veto it in the name of Jesus. We declare in every realm of power. Jesus is exalted. Jesus is exalted. He is highly exalted. He is highly lifted up. In the name of Jesus, I lift up the name of Jesus. Let the power of God begin to work. The immeasurable great power of God. The power of God that is immense. Let it overturn, overturn, overturn the trajectories of wickedness. Overturn the demonic alliances uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, whatever they have planted uh, in people's families, uh, in people's homes, uh, let it catch fire this morning. Uh, Holy Ghost fire. Fire of God. Uh, let the fire destroy it uh, for Jesus is above them. Uh, we call forth uh, destruction uh, upon the powers of darkness. Uh, Imbalugado so condoro bosia, regado so condoro boshaya, maze ken telebaya. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bible says in that Ephesians 121 in the Passion Translation, it says Jesus is exalted as first above every ruler, authority, government, and realm of power in existence. Wherever there are realms of power, we've established that Jesus is above them. Now, you and I, in Luke 17, verses 20 to 21, I'm reading the King James Version. The Bible says the Pharisees, they demanded of, the, of, of Jesus and said, you know, when will the kingdom of God come? And Jesus answered them and said, the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, lo, here, or lo, there. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. The kingdom of God is within you. And we've already established that the kingdom of God is a place of power, is a place of authority, is a place of deliverance, is a place of healing, is a place of transformation. There is no mediocrity in the kingdom of heaven. There is no oppression in the kingdom of heaven. There is no, oh, she's been bewitched. Oh, there is a spell. Oh, there is enchantment in the kingdom of heaven. None of these things can function. And the Bible is telling us that it is within us. I want you to pray this morning and say, Father, I thank you that the kingdom of heaven is within me. Now, Lord, let the kingdom manifest around my environment, in my family, in my home, in my community, in my neighborhood. As I go to church this morning and meet up with my brethren, the ecclesia, in our local place of worship, let there be a manifestation of the kingdom of heaven. Let what is on the inside of me manifest in the natural realm, in the name of Jesus. Let the kingdom of heaven manifest around us. Let there be a manifestation of the kingdom of heaven. Rima Sukata, wherever you go. 
Let there be a radius of the kingdom of heaven. Whenever you step into a place, let the atmosphere change. Let there be a manifestation of the kingdom of heaven. We manifest the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, kingdom of heaven, manifest all around us. Change the dimensions of the atmosphere around us. We manifest the kingdom. We manifest the kingdom. Maroko sokondo robo shaya zabraga dada balega dosia mazuka teleba rabo baba 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 marogo doso kondo robo siya makoro bo shanta la bala bosia makoro bo siya ndala bosia makoro bo shanta la bosia regede de borogo doso tondo robo siya mazoko toto bredele basia Father, I pray this morning uh, let there be a manifestation uh, of the kingdom uh, regado so pregede le bosia. Shabra da da balega dosia, marreke tele borogo dosia, meze vreke tele bosia, imbaluga doso kondolo, livra doso kondolo bohanda, maso tondo robo shaya, maso kodo bosia, maso kororobo shala bahanda. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. When we go to John chapter two and we see the account of the wedding at Cana, you know the Bible tells us. That when Mary went to the Lord Jesus, you know, and said, look, the people here in this wedding are about to be embarrassed because they have no wine. Can you do something about it? And Jesus replied her, I'm reading the Passion Translation. My dear one, don't you understand that if I do this, it will change nothing for you, but it will change everything for me. My hour of unveiling my power has not yet come. The, the hour of unveiling my power has not yet come, but eventually he did the miracle. And the Bible says in verse 11 of John 2, this miracle in Cana was the first of the many extraordinary miracles Jesus performed in Galilee that revealed his glory and his disciples believed on him. This miracle revealed his glory and the disciples believed on him because what? He was unveiled. He was unveiled. He was revealed. And they were able to see the glory that is inside. You and I, we have the kingdom inside of us. And the Bible says the earnest expectation of, of, of creation awaits for the manifestation of the sons of God. Romans 8, 19. So when the power manifests, that's when we will know that you are a son of God. In the Passion Translation, it says in verse 19 of Romans 8, the entire universe is standing on tiptoe. Can you see it? The entire universe is standing on tiptoe, yearning to see the unveiling of God's glorious sons and daughters. For against its will, the universe itself has had to endure the empty futility resulting from the consequences of human sin. But now, with eager expectation, all creation longs for freedom from its slavery to decay and to experience with us the wonderful freedom coming to God's children. When you manifest, even the sun, the moon, and the stars are happy because they are waiting for creation to be loosed from the bondage that Satan has put it under. I want you to pray this morning. Lord Jesus, let your power be unveiled in my life. In the name of Jesus, for the earnest expectation of all creation awaits for the manifestation of the sons of God. The entire universe is standing on tiptoe, yearning to see the unveiling of God's glorious sons and daughters. Let the sons and daughters of the God of glory be unveiled this morning. Let there be an unveiling. Let the power be made manifest. Yes, in the name of Jesus. When Jesus turned the water to wine, his power was unveiled. Lord, this morning heal your children. Deliver your children. Transform our lives. Let the kingdom manifest all around us. Let there be an unveiling of the sons and daughters of the most high God. You have not called these ones to be under the feet of the devil, but you said that devil 
devil is under our feet. He is under the feet of Christ Jesus. He is the footstool of Jesus. We, the church, we manifest this reality. We manifest this truth. Let there be a manifestation. In the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's go to 2 Samuel chapter 5. 2 Samuel chapter 5. I'm going to read it for you in the NIV and then in God's word translation. Second Samuel chapter five, verse 20. Second Samuel chapter five, verse 20. Bible says, so David went to Baal Perazim and there he defeated the Philistines again. He said, as waters break out, the Lord has broken out against my enemies before me. So that place was called God of the breakthrough which means uh, the Lord who burst through, Bel Perizim, the God of the breakthrough. And then when we read it in God's word translation, it says, so David went to Bel Perizim and defeated the Philistines there. He said, the Lord has overwhelmed my enemies in front of me like an overwhelming flood. That is why that place is called Bel Perizim. The Lord overwhelms. The Lord has overwhelmed my enemies. You know, where, where, where my mom lives in the Victoria Falls, you, when you look at the waters, it's falling over the gorges. It's overwhelming. When people fall into those gorges, they don't survive. There is an overwhelming power. The water is foaming up and, and just white. It's the noise, the sound is so loud, it's overwhelming. And that's the picture that comes to my mind. That God has overwhelmed my enemies in front of me like an overwhelming flood. They cannot recover from what God is going to do. I want you to begin to declare it this morning. Second Samuel chapter five, verse 20. I thank you, God of the breakthrough, the Lord of the breakthrough, the God who is able to burst through, to burst through uh, on the enemy's camp, uh, wherever Satan and his agents uh, had ganged up against God's children. Uh, I declare in the name of Jesus, uh, after the order of second Samuel five twenty, the God of the breakthrough uh, has broken through uh, into the camp of the enemy and overwhelmingly defeated them overwhelmed Satan and his agents in the name of Jesus. The Lord has overwhelmed our enemies in front of us like an overwhelming flood. We remember this day, the 15th day of January 2023 as the day when God overwhelmed our enemies in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Like a flood, God has burst through our enemies like a raging flood. They are overwhelmed. They are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, we worship you. We glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Second Samuel 5 verse 21. The Bible says in the NIV, the Philistines abandoned their idols there. And David and his men carried them off. In New Living Translation, it says David and his men confiscated them. Imagine when the power they depended on, you've confiscated it. You confiscated it. You took it away. Let's begin to declare this morning that father this morning, uh, let the defeat on the enemies camp be so much that the idols they depended on, may they be confiscated by the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Uh, that shrine cannot be put back together. That evil altar cannot be put back together again in the name of Jesus. Uh, may their idols be confiscated. Uh, may their demonic uh, images and whatever the instruments of divination uh, and the instruments of sorcery, the instruments of enchantment, uh, may they be confiscated in the realm of the spirit uh, that they cannot be reassembled again uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, let the enemy run off from their idols uh, and let their idols become powerless uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the realm of the spirit, uh, we capture, we confiscate uh, every idol, uh, we confiscate. Uh, 
every instrument of divination we confiscate every every work whatever they are using for divination for sorcery for witchcraft we confiscate it in the name of Jesus we put a, 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 an angelic lockdown on all their instruments in the name of Jesus father we thank you this morning for you are great oh God in the name of Jesus, oh Rabba Baba Sekelebasia. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Bible says in 2 Samuel 5 22, the Philistines again attacked and overran the valley of the Rephaim. We know the Rephaim are those uh humans who were hybrids where we had humans mixed with angelic blood. And so they, they don't really resurrect, neither do they really die. Um, this is the valley of the Rephaim. And even today, we are still contending with these hybrids and, and these fallen sons of God who left their seed here on earth. And the Bible says these Philistines were, were overrunning that valley of the Rephaim because it was these fallen angels and their evil seed who were instigating them. Same as us today. But the Bible says, David asked the Lord and said, shall I go up against them? And the Lord said, no, this time and circle around them. And then when you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the balsam trees, act immediately because it means the Lord has gone ahead of you to defeat the Philistine army. What was the sound of marching that was by the tops of the balsam trees? Obviously, that was the angel armies. That was the angelic armies. And God says, when the angel army goes ahead of you, know that I've gone ahead of you to defeat the Philistine army. I want us to pray the same thing this morning because the Bible says, uh, <laughs> you know, we are not wrestling flesh and blood we are not contending against flesh and blood but you know principalities powers rulers of darkness spiritual wickedness in high places we are dealing with the fallen sons of god the ones who can't die the ones you know who are the rephaim the hybrids let's ask the father that lord from from even as we are praying right now we thank you for the victory you have given us but we're also asking for the angel armies that let the angel armies go ahead of us and contend with this Rephaim, contend with these hybrids, contend with these fallen sons of God. Lord, go ahead of us with your angel armies uh, in Kalima Sukalabasia. May the angel armies uh, go ahead of us this day. Go ahead of us once again for the whole year 2023. May angel armies fight our battles uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Because Lord, uh, we are not fighting flesh and blood. Uh, we take up the full armor of God. Uh, we put on the belt of truth. Uh, we put on, oh God, uh, the breastplate of righteousness. Uh, we cover our feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Uh, we cover our heads with the helmet of salvation. Uh, we take up the shield of faith and we extinguish the flaming arrows of the enemy. We take up the sword of the spirit uh, and we ask, oh God, uh, let the angel armies go ahead of us this morning. Uh, let the angel armies go ahead of us this morning. Uh, Father, I pray for your children. Uh, give them, oh God, the tongues of men and the tongues of angels when they pray in tongues may their tongues summon angels when they pray in tongues may their tongues converse with angels may they receive the interpretation of angelic tongues as they pray oh god may their tongues summon the angel amisa let the angel amis and camp all around us uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, the God who gives us a resounding victory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We worship you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Father Lord, on, on this Sunday morning, uh, we just want to lift up, oh God, uh, every gathering of your children, Lord, uh, every local church assembly, wherever we're going to be worshiping this morning, uh, Lord, we lift up, oh God, uh, our places of worship to you. Uh, we are asking for the angel armies uh, to sweep clean uh, the atmosphere, Lord, in the, in the communities where we are worshiping. Uh, let the power of God clean the buildings. Uh, let the power of God clean the atmosphere. Let 
let the angels of God arrest any satanic agents uh, and any hitchhiking spirits, uh, any defiling spirits, uh, anything that would stand against the power of God. Uh, let your power, Lord, and the power of your glory arrest them uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, break evil pronouncements, evil predictions, uh, sorcery, enchantments, uh, rituals made against our church gatherings. Uh, Lord, wherever there's the gathering against your children this morning, uh, let the evil gatherings be scattered by your fire and let your glory descend uh, upon our gatherings. Uh, Father, we submit ourselves to you, each and every one of us that will be ministering this morning. Uh, we are asking, Lord, use us for your glory. Use us, oh God, for your glory. Lord, let we become the mouthpiece of the Lord. Uh, let we become the hands of Jesus. Uh, let us become the eyes of Jesus in the service. Uh, use us. May our ears hear from the realm of the spirit uh, and may we speak what you have asked us to speak. Uh, we cancel the agendas of the flesh uh, and we say let no flesh glory in your presence uh, but let your glory be revealed. Uh, let there be salvation. Uh, let people be convicted of sin. Uh, let them give their lives to Christ. Uh, let there be deliverance. Uh, let there be healing. Uh, let there be transformation. Uh, let there be miracle signs and wonders. Uh, Lord confirm your word uh, in all our local meetings. Uh, confirm your word uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, confirm your word with miracles, signs and wonders uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father we pray that every one of us will travel safely to and fro to places of worship uh, and anything that would want to hinder our worship this morning we come against it and we bind it. Uh, whatever stops people from being able to gather with God's children we bind that very thing uh, and we release your children to the place of your presence. Uh, in Jesus matchless name we pray. Amen and amen. As we close this morning, 2 Corinthians 2 verse 14, the Bible says in the New Living Translation, but thank God he has made us, uh, you know, he, 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 he has made us captives in Christ's triumphal procession. In other words, you are part of Jesus' triumphal procession whether you like it or not. <laughs> You are part of the victory march. He says, thank God he has made us captives of Christ's triumphal procession. Now he uses us to spread the knowledge of Christ everywhere like a sweet perfume. So this morning I pray that wherever we are going and as you go to your local church assembly, you are going to be spreading the sweet perfume of the knowledge of Christ, the sweet fragrance. When you enter a place, the, the atmosphere changes because the perfume of heaven has arrived. The perfume of Jesus has arrived. So shall it be in Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen and amen.